Hello everyone, so welcome back to our channel Test Prep Card. We are back again with another interesting topic for all our future engineers. So as you know, the exams for the third phase of JE Main 2021 was conducted in the last week of July and the dates for the fourth phase are 26th, 27th and 31st of August and 1st and 2nd September. So soon the dates for J Advanced will also be released and after that the final result will also come out. So once the result is out, what's next? That's what we'll discuss today. So the topic for our today's discussion is JOSA Counseling Procedure 2021 for NRIs and Indians. So I guess many of the J aspirants might have heard about this term JOSA. This is the most important part of getting admissions into your desired institutes once you have cleared your JE main or JE advanced examinations. So in today's video, we'll just discuss about JOSA in a very detailed manner. We'll just discuss about all the processes and all the procedures involved in JOSA counseling. And I hope that this video helps you. So just don't skip it, watch it till the end so that all your doubts are cleared and you can just understand how you have to go for JOSA counseling. So first, let's start with understanding what actually JOSA is. So JOSA stands for Joint Seat Allotment Authority. It is an agency made by the government of India. So you might have heard about NTA, that NTA conducts the exam of JE Main and JE Advanced and the results are also announced by NTA only. Same way, JOSA is also an agency like NTA, but the work of JOSA is different from that of NTA. Once the process of examination and results is done, that means the work of NTA is done. Then the work of JOSA begins. JOSA is actually involved in allotting seats to the candidates who have appeared in JE Main or JE Advanced and secured their All India rank. And then the seats are allotted to these candidates in different institutes according to their All India rank. So, which are the institutes which are involved in JOSA counseling? These are IITs, NITs, Triple ITs, JFTIs, and even IEST Shippur, which is in West Bengal. So basically, 23 IITs, 31 NITs, IEST Shippur, which I told you is in West Bengal, 26 Triple ITs, and 29 JFTIs participate in the counseling process of JOSA. So on your screen, you can just see the desired number of seats which are available in these institutes. I guess you have gone through it. Now, what's the eligibility for JOSA counseling? So for becoming eligible to sit in the JOSA counseling, the candidate has to appear in JE main or JE advanced and they should have their all India rank because the admission process through JOSA is completely based on the all India rank of the candidate. So here just pay attention that once you have given the JE main and you have cleared that exam, then the top 2,50,000 students become eligible to give the JE advanced exam which opens the door for IITs. You know that you can just secure your seat in IITs only if you have cleared your JE advanced exams and through JE main you get admissions in triple ITs, NITs, JFTI and IEST Shirpur. So here, let us just discuss about the NRI students also who are aspiring to get admissions in the Engineering Institutes of India. So in NITs, Triple ITs and JFTIs, there is seat reservation for NRI students under DASA and CIWG scheme. 
therefore the colleges participating in dasa or ciwg scheme have to reserve 15% of their seats for nri students and one third among those 15% seats are reserved for ciwg students so the nri students have two options that they can either give the je main exam or they can sit in the sat and sat subject test under the dasa scheme for getting admissions in nits triple its and jfti's but there is an update now for this according to the latest updates from dasa from session 2021 to 2022 onwards je main rank is mandatory for all nri students that means 2021 is the last session when sat scores will be considered by dasa or ciwg scheme another important thing over here is that no such reservation is available in iits there the candidate has just one option whether they are indian or nris that they have to sit for je advanced exam and if they have cleared that only then they can get admissions in the iits so for more details on dasa and ciwg scheme you can even download our nris ebook link for which is provided in the description below so coming back to josa once the results of j advanced are also released then the process of josa counseling begins so for this you have to register yourself online on the official website of josa which is josa.nic.in and for this registration you need to fill your je main registration number password contact details and other few details and once you have registered yourself you create your online portal and once this portal is made you have to log in into this portal and you have to fill the choices and preferences of the colleges in this portal and log these preferences before a given time period so this is the step where you have to be very cautious and very careful because this is the most important part of josa counseling because all your future admissions the seat which you will get the branch you which you will get depends totally on the preferences and choices that you have filled in the portal so i recommend that before just filling in the choices and preferences in the portal you should just prepare a demo preference list so for this you can go to the official website of josa also check out the cutoffs check out even the opening and closing list of previous years so that you have an idea and then finally according to your all india rank and according to the cutoffs just fill in the preferences and the choices here remember one more thing that the choices and the preferences should be filled in a descending order that means the institute or the branch which you want the most or which you like the most should be kept at number 1 and the institute which you prefer the least should be at the last number this is because the josa also allots seats according to descending order only that means they will just check your first preference and choice if that fits into the criteria of josa then you will just get your first preference congratulations your first dream comes true but if the first preference is out of their criteria then they move to the second preference and the process goes on till you get the seat so keep this thing in mind that you have to fill the preferences in descending order 
Sometimes the students create a very big blunder or a very big mistake while filling up their choices and preferences and because of that only, even if they deserve, they land up in institutes which they prefer the least. So please be very careful and be very cautious while filling up your preferences and choices and lock them before the specified time period. Before announcing the final result of seat allotments, JOSA even conducts two seat mock allotments. This is done to help students understand that which college and branch they might get according to their preferences and their All India rank. This is done before the final result. And please remember uh, here one thing that once the date is over, you cannot modify or you cannot change your preferences and choices. So please lock your preferences before the specified period only. And once that period is over, JOSA releases the final results of seat allotments. So just uh, remember one thing over here that JOSA releases the results in seven rounds. Last year uh, due to COVID, uh, this number was reduced to six and JOSA released the results in just six rounds. This year also they should just go with seven rounds only because from the very beginning seven rounds is the only procedure. Then once the results are out, then your next task is to either freeze, float or slide your seat. Now we will just understand these terms in detail that what actually they mean. So if you freeze the seat which is allotted to you by JOSA, that means you are totally satisfied by the seat and the branch that is given to you by JOSA. Sometimes this happens when you get your first preference only and you just freeze that seat and that means that you won't participate in the next rounds of counselling and you are happy with your seat. But if you float your seat that means you just get the seat that josa allotted you you reserve that seat but you also opt for participating in the next round of counseling also that maybe if in the next round you get a better institute then you will land up into that institute and your previous seat will be taken away the third option is slide this is also somehow similar to float only but if you slide your seat then you get a chance of changing the seat in the same college that means if you uh, in the next uh, counseling round you get a better branch in the same college which was allotted to you earlier you will just shift to that branch here you don't get a chance of changing your college you can just change your branch in the same college so here i prefer that the student should go for float only you should go with freeze option only only if you are totally satisfied by your seat this happens as i told you in the cases where you just get your first preference other than that you should just go for a float only because this is a safe way out that maybe in the next round you get a, a better institute or a better branch so you can just shift to that institute so it's a better option you can even withdraw your seat that is also a provision that is available this happens mostly in the cases that if you are not satisfied with your score or with your seat and you want to just appear again next year then in that case you can even withdraw your seat once you freeze your seat in any round of counseling then that seat is allotted to you after that, you have to download your seat allotment letter from the portal online. Then you have to pay the seat acceptance fee, which is rupees 35,000 for the unreserved category and rupees 15,000 for the reserved category. And in case you just withdraw your seat, then this fee is refunded back, but with rupees 1000 deduction. So the next step after this is reporting to the respective 
reporting center which is allotted to you and this is mostly in your state only for document verification last year document verification was done online only because of covid and maybe the same is repeated this year also if the situation is same this year also so the documents that you require for document verification are class 10th and 12th mark sheet, Aadhaar card, medical certificate and many more. So you can just see the lists of the documents that you require during document verification on the screen for both NRI students and the Indian students. You can even take the screenshot of these lists so that you don't miss out any document while going for document verification. I hope you have gone through the lists. NRI students must report at the college for document verification and admission procedure according to the Indian standard time and carry attested copies of all the certificates to the allotted institute at the time of document verification or admission. So this is for all the candidates either Indian or NRIs that you should carry Xerox copies of all your documents and also some extra passport size photographs so you don't end up in any problem while document verification process. Finally, after the document verification is completed, before the time allotted to you, which is given in the seat allotment letter, the student has to report to the allotted institute within specified period, failing which their admission will get cancelled. Now, the question is, what if you are not able to secure a seat even after the seventh round of seat allotment process by JOSA, then there is still a hope and that hope is CSAB, Central Seat Allocation Board. It is also an agency like JOSA only and is involved in allotting seats to the candidates who have appeared in JE main and have secured their All India rank. But here note one thing that CSAB doesn't conduct counselling for IITs. This work is only done by JOSA. CSAB is only involved in conducting the counselling for NITs, triple ITs and JFTIs. So the students who are having a lower rank can wait for CSAB counselling with a little bit of patience because the cutoff of CSAB counselling is a bit lower than that of JOSA cutoff. So such students can get admissions in some good institutes through CSAB counselling. So that's it for this video. To summarize, the main steps in JOSA counseling procedure are number one, registration, then comes choice filling and locking. The third step is two mock seat allotments, then come final result of seat allotment by JOSA, then comes freezing, floating or sliding of seat. After that, fee payment, then comes the document verification and finally reporting to the institute that is allotted to you. So I hope many of your doubts are cleared through this video and this video is helpful for you and still if you are having any query, any doubt, you can just write it down in the comment section or you can contact us through the link which is given in the description box. You can even share this video with your other friends who are also giving the JE main and advanced exam so that this video even proves helpful for them also and don't forget to subscribe our channel test prep card and yes i know the dates of je advanced will also be coming soon then finally the procedure of josa counseling will begin so just be optimistic be calm all the best wishes from team test prep card do wonders